uh, aware of what is transpiring globally. Uh, we are witnessing uh, another uh, war, war which is which has a potential to be a serious or catastrophic a global a war or some whom could call it the World War Three. Uh, greetings and welcome on your lovely channel, The Clown Panning Movie uh, Music TV. If you are watching us for the very first time, please do remember to press the red or black subscribe button so that next time when we beam live, guess what, you become the very, very first one uh, to watch us. So, uh, Iraq, we understand that there are drones heading towards the state of Israel that have been launched by uh, Iraq. Uh, on the other hand, we understand there are also additional cruise missiles uh, that have been launched uh, by the state of, uh, I mean, uh, the, the Islamic state of uh, Iran towards uh, the state of Israel. I hope I captured it that way, by the Islamic uh, state of Iran. Uh, it is started by launching uh, drones towards the state of Israel. Now it has also added uh, cruise missiles towards uh, Israel. Uh, this is not a good global uh, picture because this war could uh, escalate uh, within seconds, within minutes, uh, into a global a catastrophic war. Now I have already indicated on my previous live video uh, that this war uh, at the moment it has been started by Iran uh, and uh, some can say it was started rather by Israel when Israel decided uh, to bomb the, the, the properties of the Islamic uh, of Iran uh, that is in uh, Damascus, uh, Syria. And then what uh, happened that uh, we had the state, the Islamic State of Iran uh, threatening that they will respond uh, to the State of Israel. That has just happened. And Israel also sent a message uh, that if the Islamic State of Iran decides to attack uh, its soils, uh, either from its proxies, they are going also to respond. And the United States of America uh, also uh, warned Iran uh, of attacking the state of Israel, uh, saying if that happened, uh, then the United States will attack the mainland of the Islamic state uh, of Iran. And now we know uh, that Iran as well as Russia, they have actually been so close uh, since the days of the Russo-Ukraine uh, war up to today. We know that they were supplying Russia with kamikaze drones uh, and uh, I guess kamikaze drones, uh, deadly drones that were actually giving the uh, Ukrainians the hardest times. I believe uh, some of the drones launched towards the state of Israel uh, comprises of these uh, deadly uh, drones. I've already witnessed some videos uh, the Iron Dome working to prevent uh, these missiles and already uh, a lot of uh, uh, countries within the Middle East, they have closed their airspace. I'm talking of Iraq, uh, I'm, I'm talking of uh, uh, quite a number of uh, countries, even Jordan has actually decided to shut down its airspace. Uh, already Israel has instructed even school going children uh, as well as academic activities. It is currently at standstill uh, because they were anticipating uh, these attacks from the Islamic uh, state of Iran because it had already promised that it was going uh, to make Israel regret uh, attacking uh, its embassy. Uh, it, it made a, a point on that and we are seeing 
uh, the Islamic Republic of Iran staying true uh, to the words that they had promised Israel. And Israel actually had put its military on high alert. Same applies to the United States of America. Uh, it indicated that it has actually put its military on high alert. Now, when the, these nations are saying they have put their military on high alert, uh, it simply means any time uh, their military can launch an attack. Uh, so it, it means their military are ready. Uh, same applies to uh, Israel. Uh, it also meant that its military is ready uh, to also fight back because they had already indicated that in case if the, the Islamic State of Iran decides to launch an attack on the mainland of Israel, that they will uh, actually, they were using very, very scary terms. Uh, they will level uh, the Islamic uh, State of Iran. And also, these were the sentiments said by the President of the United States of America, uh, that is Joe Biden. He instructed uh, the Islamic State of Iran to s stop about thinking, attacking uh, Israel. They have just done so. And over the past few weeks, we have seen Russia moving its military contingents towards the Red Sea. Uh, and were they doing so because they were communicating with Iran? And there are unconfirmed reports uh, that the military of Russia has actually uh, indicated that uh, they will also be attacking any country that joins uh, Israel. Uh, in, uh, the Islamic State of Iran. We have seen, by the way, uh, a, a country like the Islamin, uh, Islamic State of Iran cooperating countries like Russia, as well as also uh, the peoples, the, 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 the uh, China. Uh, so, uh, what is the possibility? Is that uh, if the United States of America enters this war, we may see countries like China as well as Russia uh, entering on the side of the Islamic Republic of Iran. It's, it's just a scary uh, global picture that we are witnessing. Uh, events are happening globally. I know a lot of Africans, they may be probably parting. Uh, that they are not following uh, these events. These are serious uh, events. If there has ever been any serious events, these are the very, very uh, scariest. Uh, if there is ever a word like that, or oh, these are the, the moments. If there is anyone uh, who has to pray, I think uh, if prayer is an effective weapon, then it has to be exercised at this hour. Uh, especially regarding uh, global uh, peace, because uh, we are bound to witness. I think we are an inch away from witnessing a very, very deadly uh, war. Uh, and this war may not affect only these parties involved, but a continent like Africa may see uh, itself being affected by this war because we know that the, 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 the globe has become, a, I mean, the world has become a global a village whereby nations depends uh, on one another. We have seen already the conflict between Russia and Ukraine uh, affecting Europe in terms of uh, oil. It's, it, we know that a lot of European countries were relying uh, on Russia for the provision of oil. Uh, and uh, when sanctions began to be imposed against Russia, Russia also did the same to some of the uh, Western countries. Uh, it's quite a, a, a very, very uh, uh, ugly, uh, scary uh, picture that is unfolding uh, globally. Uh, so the drones are moving towards the state uh, of Israel uh, and uh, also uh, cruise missiles have been launched towards the state of Israel. We know that Israel has the Iron Dome, uh, which could uh, uh, prevent, uh, which can actually prevent uh, such missiles from uh, striking the targets, but we don't know 
Uh, maybe you, you see these nations always have got their secret uh, weapons. Maybe uh, the Islamic Republic of Iran has such a weapon. What is the impact of Iran doing this? Uh, it is actually risking the United States of America joining uh, this war already. Uh, Joe Biden is meeting uh, with the top uh, the United States security uh, personnel to discuss uh, and uh, I, 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 it, it is possible uh, that what they are discussing now may be the response that America would give following Iran not listening uh, to the United States of America. We know that the relations between the Islamic Republic of Iran as well as the United States of America have not uh, been good, uh, which saw the United States of America imposing uh, sanctions on the Islamic State of uh, Iran. Uh, and uh, the, the, the world is divided at the moment, which makes uh, it very, very difficult. Countries like China, uh, countries like Russia, they cannot actually uh, meet yet uh, in a conflict between a country like the United States of America as well as the Islam Republic of Iran uh, because of the also relations that exist between these so-called uh, superpowers. So it's going to be a a, a, a long, uh, very, very, I've uh, been full of uh, activities. Uh, this night is going to be very, very long, uh, and a lot is going to be uh, happening. And I just hope and pray that such platforms uh, will be available for updates. Thank you very much for watching us. If you're watching us for the very first time, please do remember to press the red or black subscribe button so that next time when we film live, 